Yes, my package from Japan finally arrived. And um, it's time to open this up. As you can see, it's a Drift Package Nano. Um, I also still have the original Takara Tomy um, first editions of like the bigger scale. They're like this big. And these are 10 centimeters. So this is going to be awesome. So here's that do it again. He's always on the package, by the way. He's from, uh, from Yakomo, of course. Oh, man. Okay, so here we go. Four-wheel drive. Uh, PS13. Uh, one 40-second 40, 40 scale. Uh, 2.4 gigahertz. So wireless everything. So that's awesome. So I'm actually pretty um, chuffed about this. And I would really like to know... If I get more of these, how awesome this would work with 2.4 gigahertz. Because the old versions, uh, the bigger ones, they only had like sliders on um, the receiver with the antenna and on the car with the antenna. So you had like A, B, and C. So you could run up um, three cars at the same time. But this should be endless actually. So as long as it's untouched and working. It's all fine by me. Ooh. Alright, so that was the box. We got the manual, of course. Don't know what's in there completely. Let's see. Japanese. I cannot read Japanese. I can... Oh, stupid. Tape, come on. Here we go. Oh yeah, we got stickers for the lights, sticker for the <clears throat> for the remote, and some bonus stickers. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Put that to the side. A little instruction leaflet, more bonus. I don't know. Oh, nice. This is the leaflet with the cars on it. Look, 180SX, RX-7 of course, PS13 or S13. Uh, 370Z, uh, Tureno of course, Hachiroku, and uh, another RX-7. So, I really wish I could have gotten a Tureno, but probably in the future I will. And, um, yeah, they're really nice cars. The only thing I'm a bit bummed about is that they all have the same rims, um, except for the blue RX-7. And here's some more stuff on the back for the the bigger drift packages with all the cars on it. Pretty epic. So yeah, onwards to... I can't read this. It's just like instructions on everything and how to do it, blah, blah, blah. Just going to find out myself a little bit. So we have this super duper small package here. Oh, look, it's already inside here. Huh. Mm, let's see how we open this. I don't know. There we go. It's all neatly packaged. Oh, here we go. Oh, look at how chibi. It's so small. We actually don't need stickers. They already have stuff on here. God, it's so small. Look at this. It's ridiculous. <laughs> okay, good. Well, here's the little car then. I'm going to fold this down. Slide it out, I suppose. There you go. Get out. Alright. Wow. Wow. It's so small. <gasps> really, when you look at like videos and stuff, golly. Okay, pretty cool. So I guess this still works like... This is probably the back, I suppose. I mean, it certainly looks like it. Steering trim is over here, so... This should be the front, of course. There you go. Oh man, it's pretty dark. Shitty weather right now. Okay, so we drop that into the slots. Boom! There you go. Super easy. Ha! <laughs> Ah, oh, dude, I'm so in love with this. I love this. It's so cool. 
We're waiting so long for this. Nice. Okay, let's go to the remote. Oh. I'll just rip it off a little bit. There you go. We don't care. We just want to play with it. Yes. Okay, so they do have... How do you say? Uh, variable uh, speed. Backwards is probably just completely 100% backwards or reverse. But forward has a... Um, a, a bigger motion for going soft and hard and then we have the low and the high setting for if you want full speed or not and then we have the charge button the uh, off button is in the middle and on is on the right and this you think like oh we're probably gonna get like mini z or whatever where we can turn it more but it's again the only thing they upgraded is the the size, or they downgraded that actually, uh, the 2.4 gigahertz uh, transmitter, and uh, and the uh, variable uh, speed. And that's about it actually, because this is still full left or full right, and that's actually the same on the old car, Tomy uh, drift package light. Here we have the the plug for when you want to charge it. And I think in this, we have to open it with a screwdriver, I see, is the battery pack. So I'm going to check that out. So here we go. We just take this off. I already used the screwdriver. Got some batteries here on the floor. I hope my camera is picking up everything. Two that are just a little bit more full than the other. But I recommend you get new batteries or get like the rechargeable ones plus plus all plus that's good so then we put this back on grab the screwdriver turn it the other way around goes pretty far actually is it on good think so yep okay so now we have a working transmitter yep okay good so now we need to figure out if this works no it's probably completely dead so I have to look at this little notch over there Go like this, boom. Now you got yourself a portable little car on your transmitter. And then we use that. That's gonna charge. So I suppose, let me see, yeah. I suppose we have to wait till the green one is off. It's, I really have to get used to the, the grip of this whole thing. It's really actually marketed for kids more, but I guess it, it can work like this. I don't know, I have to get... Probably have to use it like this with my pinky down. But yeah, either way, I, I'm loving this. I really am. Um, next thing to do is wait till it's uh, charged and then uh, I'll test it out. Okay, so as you can see, well, the green light is off. So I have to put this to here and then gently take it off again grab this check the steering angle that's the front that's the back and then just gently put it in a notch boom there we go so before i take this baby for a spin this is actually the set that i bought from a uh, dude in my neighborhood we used to have more of these cars and we used to have a big a plate that we can drive on like a little circuit outside in the in the yard uh, I got some uh, videos of that on my youtube account so I still had this this body and uh, the chassis is actually from the RX-7 right here as is the transmitter as you can see full gas full backwards or brake full steering left and right ABC sliders just like on the on the chassis and a friend of mine actually had a um, or I actually bought a Levin uh, hatchback chassis 
and I still managed to have this uh, body and a friend of mine actually made it into my own uh, 11 coupe that I used to have, Mahachiroku and uh, yeah this is how it looked in real life so pretty cool like and strife on there, clutch masters, drift sport out and L. really awesome stuff so but back to this uh, I mean look in comparison look how teeny tiny it is it's awesome so that whole track got disassembled because my uh, shed is not big enough so should I first put this on then this and then on now ah there we go so I think it has to sync up um, it's on high pretty cool um, I have a bigger track coming up it's on the wall actually over there but um, yeah I'm probably gonna make videos when uh, everything is done on there uh, as you can see it works always fine steering reacts pretty quick actually quicker than the, than the old ones so and it's pretty quick it's nice that you can hear like the difference in the soft high 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 so Pretty neat actually. There we go. Let's see if the backwards works. Come on, reverse. There we go. Ah, reverse, reverse has a delay. It's not that big of a deal, but I don't know if there's gonna be like more steering. No, it's full lock already. Okay. Made in China. But it's from Japan. <laughs> no. Well, So what I forgot to mention is this little car has a uh, Li-on or Li-ion battery and the steering trim is of course for if you want more lock or not but it's oh no not more lock or not it's about uh, when you have the wheel straight or not um, so yeah this is pretty cool um, need to put this on too of course um, yeah It's just awesome because this is like my desk. Damn it. <laughs> oh. Oh, I really need to get used to this. To this, uh, this board. This is not like melamine that I have on the track. But yeah. It's really responsive, I really like it. Uh, the speed is good too, just takes some getting used to. As you can see, the full lock is uh, pretty epic. And um, the charging takes about, I think, around 10 or 20 minutes in between that. So, turn it off for a second and get this little body off again. There we go. As you can see, this says Drift Package Nano. It has like this little thing up here. Um, all these screws, you can open it up if you want. I haven't done that yet, probably won't do that. Um, as you can see, this is the little charge socket. And it says Lie Ion right over here. And it's uh, you can recycle it. Oh, it says on the side, 3.7 volts, 50 mAh, and 0 0.2 WH. So. 3.7 volts is pretty funny. Probably people are gonna upgrade these little things in the, in the future. I might as well. I will see if there's uh, anything that I can do for it. Mod it or something. I mean, I have two. Mostly for playing with friends and all that. So, yeah, we'll see what happens. It's gonna be awesome. Just wanted to use this little video to add on the information. Put some stickers on it. Sylvia and the license plate and the back... Uh, badge another license plate sticker on here you go my sticker on there so yeah pretty cool stuff just can't get over the fact that everything is made in china but hey 
that's how it goes. Oh yeah, and if you have the low setting, the stick or the throttle only goes that far. So it's actually just like a, a plastic thing that stops it from going further to the back. When I put it on high, it goes completely in again. And the way you turn it on is put the car in on position first, then use your slider on the remote, then you wait, and boom, you have control. And I just love the fact that uh, you can take this anywhere. And I'm just gonna make like a portable track for it. And this, this desk is not the ideal track for it right now. So I need to fix my bigger track and then see what everything does. Thanks for watching.